says about our our pastors and our uh, uh, preachers uh, Ezekiel 22 26 her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing they have put no difference between the holy and profane neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean does your pastor tell you about clean and unclean have he ever um or do he tell you uh he's redeemed from my uh, pork and that it's okay to you know go ahead and have you that pork chop sandwich that piece of ham hmm I know our pastor he never he never talked about clean and unclean you know I never knew nothing about that clean and unclean I thought that was something Muslims did you know don't eat pork oh you you don't eat pork oh you Muslim no we're not supposed to eat pork not for him to, he wasn't telling us that to be me he told us that because he created everything and he didn't create that for food that's not food catfish not food crab look at look at those things man. do they really look like something you know you might want to throw in a pot but yet we we eating them he knows what's good for us and you know the doctors even tell you you know you eating pork you shouldn't be eating pork you know we're not supposed to do that so not only is it not good for you you're going against what the most high tells you what he tells you to do uh, Ezekiel 22 27 her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening to prey to shed blood and to de destroy souls to get dishonest gain pay your tithes pay your tithes ain't no law against it but you're being robbed uh, Ezekiel 22 28 and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar seeing, van seeing vanity and divining lies unto them saying thus says Yah when Yah has not spoken you know the Lord told me the other day you know what I'm saying man you don't really need to go to them to get a word from the Father you can go straight to the Father yourself through, through the through the um, Messiah that's what he came for we got a way to the Father through him you know and he'll give you his spirit and you'll get understanding he'll give you whatever you need you don't really need you know to go pay your tithes and have a, a, a pastor give you understanding you know that's that's a lot uh, Ezekiel 22 28 and the prophets have dogged them with untempered more I read that I'm sorry uh, Ezekiel 22 29 the people of the land have used oppression and exercise robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy yea they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully you the stranger you in a strange land it's not your country why you voting when just uh, four years ago they was disfranchising us cutting us off from voting cheating uh, to get Bush up in the office and uh, now you know we back in the system again we back on top with Barack it's a scam. It's a scam. Wake up. Pay attention to what's going on around you, man. It's a lot going on around you. You know, stop feeding into things that's never worked for us. This system has never been for us. You know, but you're gonna find that out shortly. Uh, Ezekiel 22:30. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none found none. Nobody to intercede for the people. Nobody worthy. Wow. Wow. 22.31 And therefore I have poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, says Yah. Hmm. That don't sound good. And now let's look. Now let's look. Because uh, in Ezekiel 16 he also talks about um Israel and what they what they believe their churches check this out Ezekiel 16 24 that thou has also built unto thee an eminent place and has made thee a high place in every street an eminent place an altar a high place that's where they went to um, um worship pagan gods a high place they used to go up in the uh, up on the hill in the uh in the forest in the woods uh, if you read the Old Testament, you'll see that um, Israel was constantly um, going up in the high places, worshiping false, false uh, uh, gods. 
and this is what we're still doing. And look, he says it's in every street. Now, in, in, in black communities, uh, all the time, I mean, any black community, not just mine, because uh, I go over to one of the brothers' house uh, for Shabbat, uh, the Sabbath lesson, and uh, we was riding, it's about five blocks off the main strip to his block. And we counted seven churches within those five blocks. Seven churches on one side of the street, not even counting the other side of the street. Wow. And he says, "Has you have made you a high place in every street. And see, it's the same thing then, it's the same thing now. The people haven't changed. The generations changed, the faces changed. We're the same people. We're still doing the same wickedness we was doing back then. The book is thousands of years old, and it's still on point, right on point, because nothing changes. Uh, Ezekiel 1625 Thou hast built thy, thy high place at every head of the way and has made thy beauty to be her board and hath opened thy feet to everyone that passed by and multiplied thy whoredoms. He's calling us a whore. He's saying, see, we married to Yah. We, we, we're married to Yah. And he's calling us a whore because we're serving every other God um, and, not, and not the creator Yah. We're straying from our, our creator. You know, he only dealt with us. And uh <clears throat> he said our beauty we no longer no longer beautiful. We just we just some uh we just out um doing whoredoms. We just out um whoring, you know, with these with these strange gods. Jesus. It's a strange God. It's a strange God. You know, think of it like this. What if I took the scriptures? What if I took the Bible? What if I took it to an editor and I said, every place that says Lord and God, I want you to put Melvin. And every place that says Jesus, I want you to put Larry. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna take this book and uh I'm gonna start my own religion. We're gonna meet on Wednesdays. We're gonna have we're gonna have uh worship on Wednesdays. Do you think the most high would honor that? You in your heart worshiping Larry and Melvin, do you think you know he's gonna you gonna um you gonna pass away you'll 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 pass away you'll die and you gonna you gonna go and um he gonna let you into his kingdom? You think you're gonna get into his kingdom worshiping Larry and Melvin? That's what these people did. That's what they did to us, man. They changed the names. They put their own they put their own gods in the, in this book. You know, what if I put the, the, a Chinese man up on a cross? You see what I'm saying? That's what they did. The Messiah was uh, a Hebrew. He was an Israelite, just like us. He looked just like us. You know, so you got to look at it like that. You know, they, it's a trick. It's a trick, and I'm warning you, it's a trick. Satan is deceiving you. He has you thinking that you know you're doing the right thing he's making it easy for you all you got to do is believe on Jesus you're calling on the wrong name you got the wrong image in your head you got the wrong image in your heart you got the wrong you got the wrong uh, uh, gods in your heart you don't have the one true creator and his son Yehoshua you don't have them in your heart so you're wrong and you know it's going to be like why didn't you seek me I would have, I would have gave you the truth. You know, why didn't you believe when I sent people to tell you? You know, what, 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 what would you say? What would be your excuse? Uh, I'm gonna go to Ezekiel 16, uh, 26. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptian, thy neighbors, greater flesh, and has increased thy whoredom, to to provoke me to anger. That's what Egyptologists just threw that one in for a little little bonus you know we was worshiping those same gods back then too same gods same people same wickedness we got to turn back to the father we got to keep his commandments everything he say remember when Yahushua said uh, uh, a man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the father what makes you think something changed what makes you think we can we can just look over what he told us and just believe on Jesus that don't even make sense we trying to get into his kingdom. How are we going to get there without doing what he say? Don't let people fool you, man. They're making fools out of us. And we're we going to lose our souls, man. 
We're gonna lose our souls. You gotta, uh, you gotta think. You gotta study. You gotta read. Uh, Ezekiel 16:31. In that thou buildest thy 